Hello. We're going to do some flying. Yes, we are. And I have us a nice little flight. We're going to do the whole shebang, the planning and everything. So if you're not into the planning side of things, then um, feel free to uh, fast forward. Um, but we are going to be shuttle to Juliet from Heathrow up to the mighty Manchester. Um, and that is flight BA-1386. We're in an A321. Um, so let's see if I have it in here already. I am betting I don't. Oops, I need space in there. Oh, I do. I do. 1326. Fantastic. That makes that. Wait a minute. Why does it reckon we're going to Newcastle? Can I chin that off? Got it slow. 1326. We have the right call sign and everything. Oh, it's got them all going to Newcastle. Uh, well, we're not doing that. We're going to EGCC. Um, <clears throat> excellent. The plan is to fly online. Oh, all the air controllers have just gone off. Brilliant. Uh, so now we only have ground on at Heathrow. Departure runway 27 right. So I did this flight yesterday. Um, and they were going off. Well, they were doing singles on 09 left. Which is just absolutely barking. Uh, never seen that before. And I was following... Um, there was a couple of ascots up as well. In fact, this could be some dudes. Oh, no, it's not. Uh, there was quite a few uh, RAF uh, A400Ms up. Well, there was two. Two A400Ms up yesterday, which was quite cool watching them go around. And we had one of them flying over Loughborough the day before that. So... Um, yeah, really cool. Um, so what are we looking for? We're looking for Heathrow. Chugga chugga. He's landing on 27 right. You... I don't know what you're doing. You look like you're taking off 27 right. So they're doing singles again at Heathrow. Yep, okay, so 2-7 right it is then. Uh, that's going to throw Vatsim in right amongst the pigeons because the ground control has got an ATIS up and it says 2-7 left. Um, now Manchester do have tower on and they're currently doing what? 2-3 right, okay, that's fairly standard. So two three right goes in. Yeah. So we're in A three twenty one. Oh thank god I do have A three twenty ones on here. I've redone all my PFPX and I just yeah, broken it. Uh payload will go for a random payload, don't really care too much. Um we do have a company route. So two seven left or right, and it will be umlat. And then Tango 418 to Welling, Tango 420 to Trent. Which is not a million miles different from what I did yesterday. Except we went to Utlib because we were coming out that way. And then up to Woburn and then on from there. Uh, our, uh, what's it called? Alterna is Golf Pepper, which is Liverpool. And we'll just find it does a really hawky-borky route on that. So yeah, I don't really care. Uh, two three. So actually, we're likely to be on two seven for that. So can we clear that, and then can we do a find? Well, there's a ground controller on at Liverpool, and he's got an ATIS up. 
Have they changed the rules on that? Because you never used to be able to do that. Um, I've got a company max of flight level 180. Minimum not too bothered about. And yeah, fuel we should be on Cirrus. Yeah, so that's all fine. Costs, uh, no, not costs. What do I want? I want cost index. I always forget to do this. And I can never remember where you put your cost. Oh, here we go. Optimize. Well, I'm going to set it to minimum cost, but yeah, I can never remember where it puts it on the actual um, flight plan. So we'll compute that flight. Good. So we get all the good things and, and stuff and then we hit save. Um, I would do a validate, but as you can see, I, I've completely balked everything. Uh, no, I'm clicking the wrong thing. Export, that's what we want. Uh, and then that'll export it to the relevant FSX directories and Aerosoft directories and all that goodness. Um, okay, cool. Right, I'm going to just quickly pause the recording. We'll get FSX started up and we'll be on the ground at Heathrow. See you in a sec. So... <laughs> Here we are, sunny Heathrow, not, <laughs> it's a bit grim, it's a bit grim out there, I tell thee. Um, okay, cool, so we are sat here at gate 518, terminal 5, we've got the so Jetways working, a treat, love it, love it, love it, so let's put the batteries on. And let us stick the PFDs and all that goodness on. So flick, flick, flick. And we will do uh, an IRS to nav now, because that takes a bit of time to align. Um, and we'll take May 20 as our active database. And then we'll go align IRS. Right. So doors, we'll open the cargo doors and we'll start keying in all the goodness down here. You need the cargo doors open for it to actually put cargo in, unsurprisingly. And let's have a look at the flight plan, which I've got up on to the screen. Uh, so we've got 104 passengers. They can start coming on straight away. Cargo 724, so 0 0.75 it will be. Um, and they can start chucking that on. That's not a lot of cargo. Anyway, um, and our tanks will be at 4661. And we can put the fuel in like that as well. <laughs> Lovely. Um, so that's all just comes straight off the PFPX uh, flight plan that we just did at the start of the video. We'll flick uh, a radio on and we have Heathrow ground still. And he's still saying... Oh no, he's saying departures on 27 right now. But the ground controller can't enforce that anyway, so. Okay, whatever. Um, so we're going from Heathrow, EGLL, to Manchester. We'll take the route that we've just planned. Flight number is BA, forgotten it already. Um, what was it? Thirteen eighty six. 
Not that this makes any difference whatsoever, but we'll do that. Uh, Cruise is flight level 160. Alternates are going to be Liverpool. And the cost index, so this is where I can just never find the flipping thing on this uh, flight plan. There's your Mac, there's your, yeah, whatever, fuel bias. I'm sure it's down as CX or something like that. I have found it before. It's just not... Hey! Oh. Let me just um, put my phone on silent. There we go. Um, if I don't find it in the next 10 seconds, I'm going to completely give up and... Go with what I know. I'm sure it used to be on this right hand side, but anyway, whatever. Uh, no. 99, stuff it, pedal to the metal. Uh, if you don't know what cost index is, so basically it's a number between uh, 0 and 99 um, in this case, and cost index 99, so cost isn't necessarily financial. Um, you can fly fast, burn lots of fuel, but get there quick, so you're not burning it as long. Or you can burn the minimum amount of fuel. might take you longer to get there, but if you burn less fuel, you have to pay for less. Um, but the cost, cost in that case, is, is time. Um, so a cost index of 99 is minimum time, and cost index of 0 is minimum fuel. Um, for a short hop like this, yeah, 99, whatever, be right. Uh, I'm just going to tweak the audio a smidge there. That looks a wee bit better. Um, so that's in. So our block fuel was, what, 4.6, so 4.7 on here. Always round up. So that's in. Um, I won't do the flight plan side of it just yet. Uh, we can... No, I'll do that afterwards as well. Um, so Heathrow Groomed is on 121 Day Simul 7. So 121 oops, one Day Simul 7. Does it not give you the little ping pong anymore when you change frequencies? Good afternoon, 35953 Lima, the vacant at 27 left on Alpha, request stand 515 if possible. See how long I keep this up before getting. 35953 Lima, it's ground, hello, continue Alpha, stand 515. Continue Alpha, 515, thank you, 35953 Lima. So there is one alpha right on to Bravo and I'll get back to you. So there is one alpha right to the Fural and say in red. So there is one alpha that is right on to Bravo and I'll get back to you in a minute. Okay, so there is one alpha. Take and roll. Seven seven tango, no further ATT is available. One is going to come on to two decimally. Bye bye. Unicorn wants to do this like Velocity you're facing the wrong way. So if you use the next left turning, which is Gulf, to make a U turn northbound on Foxtrot and then turn right onto Bravo and follow a Siberian 737 800. <laughs> yeah, bet you didn't get that. And uh, see two of golf for the taxi. Stand by. <laughs> West Jet one two one, he's her ground. Okay, Westjet one two. Uh, 
Full position, stand by, Brink. The event 2 1 goal, second right on to Alpha, hold Pluto. Second right Alpha, hold Pluto, 3 2 is off. Yeah, I'm going to jump in there. Ground, good evening. Shuttle 2 Lima. Shuttle 2 Lima. He's our ground. Good evening. Pass your message. Oh, correction already. Good start. It's Shuttle 2 Juliet. Uh, we're a A321 at gate 518. Uh, IFR clearance to Manchester, please. Uh, shuttle 2 Juliet. I'd love to give you clearance. If you could just check that you filed your flight plan and it's not showing at the minute. All right, stand by. My bad. No worries. There we go. Didn't click the button. What a plonker. Speedbird 5 0 Golf, would you like full length departure? Oh, we can take Alpha for Speedbird 5 0 Golf. Order Speedbird 5 0 Golf, uh, you can continue on Pluto Hold Alpha 4, 10279. Can you on Hold Alpha 4, 10279, Speedbird 5 0 Golf? Speedbird 1 2 Golf, would you like full length or Alpha 4? We'll take four like zero two and golf. Super two one golf roger. Continue on alpha hold continue on alpha hold alpha three. Good you alpha hold alpha three zero two and golf. Uh have we got all the people on board yet? Yes we actually have. Um, I'm just going to give him a chance uh, in case one, one, he's really broken. planning and to call me. Make sure that you press your push to talk down fully. I think it might be catching. Two level one, seven, five, four, three, refresh, push and start. One, one, push start, three, face north. Push start, pull, face north, three, level one. Westjet, one, two, one, are you ready for taxi, sir? Ready for taxi. you ready for Westjet 121, cool beans. If you use the next left turning, <laughs> which is golf, use that left turning um, to go uh, to join Foxtrot northbound and then turn right onto Bravo and I'll get back to you. Foxtrot, turn right onto Bravo, Westjet 121. Mm -hmm. I think he's forgotten us. Yeah, yeah. I'll okay, give him a shot. Alpha, just about to call you. Um, if you continue on Bravo and use Lima to um, join Alpha and hold. What's Pluto. the wind doing? 110. Okay, we'll no, 280, 10 knots. Super 2 1 Gulf of Tiberian and 737 800 will be coming in front of you. Temperature uh, 14. Right to left. 2NH1002. Right that's gone down. Super 5 0 Golf, not for the Rick TC available. Monitor and come 1 2 2 that's for Let's enjoy your flight. Bye bye. 1 2 2 that's for Let's enjoy your flight. Good day. And ground shuttle to Juliet, you should have our uh, flight plan now. Ah, uh, shuttle to Julia, I see it now. You cleared Manchester, home lap 1, Foxtrot departure, score 5016. Cleared to Manchester on the home lap 1, Foxtrot, and 5016 in the box, shuttle to Juliet. Shuttle to Juliet, correct. Happy days. Right, so we have the green light on his screen now then. Um, so I'm just doing the takeoff performance. Uh, so take off performance calculator, bit of freeware uh, for the buses. Um, so keyed in runway length, airport elevation, the headwind temperature, Q and H, our takeoff weight, our flap setting, anti ice, runway condition is wet, wet, wet. Feeling in my fingers. Actually, Siberian One Alpha, would you mind going behind the British Airways Triple Seven? <laughs> uh, oh, we've got Siberian flaps Alpha, one up mind. three. 
God, I never fly the 321. That's huge. Uh, and that gives us our V speeds, of course, as well. So, so our V1 is 130. That's low. Uh, V rotate 142. To join Alpha eastbound behind the 777 British Airways just passing now. You can follow him. And a V2 of 146. Okay, I'm still left uh, and follow behind triple seven with the Flaps device. what? One trim up three degrees. And our flex temp is 57. Oh, which is what it thinks anyway. Um, let's just make sure that is in. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah. So V1, that's the point at which we're committed to take off. V rotate. VR is at the point at which you pull back. And V2 is the minimum safe speed for an engine failure to be able to continue the takeoff. So actually quite a distance between V1 and V2 there. So if you get an engine failure, just as you pass 130 knots, well, you've got to accelerate to 146 before you can safely actually do anything. So it, it puts you in a bit of a funny predicament. Um, so that's in there anyway. Uh, we'll go to flight plan, we'll do Heathrow, we'll do departure. We're going to be on 27 right. Uh, and we're going on the umlat one Fox. And then we'll insert that on there. Now I'm just going to pop this out and go to plan. And we'll have a quick look at the route, make sure it looks sensible. Yes, it does. And that gets us all the way to Trent, and then we'll worry about all the rest of it when we get there. Um, so, that is everything on the flight computer done. I'm going to do my flight control now, so we're looking for 3 degrees up. 3 degrees up. Fantastic. So, we'll fire up uh, a poo. Fuel pumps can go on. I'm not going to use the co pilot, let's risk it. And the beacon can come on because we intend on starting our engines momentarily. Uh, Seabot signs and no smoking, not that one. They can come on, doors are armed. <laughs> And we're just waiting for a poo to fire up. APU, tiny little jet engine that sits in the back of the uh, tail here. That's what the exhaust pipe's for. And... Yep, yeah, lovely. So if we go to uh, APU, end speed 100%, so it's all fired up. Currently 0% on the generator because we're not using it because we currently have ground power. So we'll turn ground power off, turn the APU bleed on. So now we're using 45% uh, of the generator because we're, we're now running on batteries and that sort of thing. So we'll disconnect the external power. And we'll get ready to fire up to engines. Oh, squawk 5016. That's why you always have a pen and paper. And that can go to TA only. Uh, for the moment, that will go to tilt above. This will go to tilt above. That will go to that. I have to since we've got a slightly technical problem. Can we stop shortly on Alpha and follow that, or should we let that to Bravo? Stupid one one. Um, how long will that take? Around about uh, one or two minutes. Oh, okay, stupid one one. Um, if you just hold Charlie two. So we're ready for push and start. Okay, I'll hold Charlie two and I'll call you back to see one. Thanks. No worries, thanks. Hey, dear girls. Good evening. Steve Bird, 301, stand 509, information, Juliet. Connection 1002, 5A320, clearance to open, please. 
Two three zero one. You took down good after evening. You cleared the Malta. Max eight one. Shot the Malta. Clear the Malta. Max eight one. Shot the Malta. Clear five four two. Clear the Malta. Max eight one. Shot the Malta. Clear five four two. Clear the Malta. Max eight one. Correct. And Grain Shuttle two Juliet uh, gate five one eight. Ready for push and start. Uh, Juliet, push and start is approved with facing north. To the north, shuttle to Juliet. Uh, so that is tail left. So start push and start engine two. Easy as that. Last station, say again. Ground, good afternoon, Air Canada. 857, standard 257, information Juliet, I've heard a trial. Long off line. 857, you again, very good afternoon. You cleared to Toronto. Um, Compton, one, four, three, Fox, start. My goodness me. Compton, three, Fox, start the purchase, call 7677. Air Canada, 857, to Toronto, Compton, three, Fox, start, squawk 7677. Canada's 857, correct. Ground Shuttle 5 Tango with you on Alpha. Shuttle 5 Tango, hello, continue uh, on Alpha Hold Dasso. Alpha Dasso. Ground Speed 1 1 is uh, ready for taxi now. Speed 1 1, no problem, second right on Alpha Hold Pluto. Second right on Alpha Hold Pluto, Speed 1 1, thanks. If we're on Speed 6, but watch yourself fast, you see Eric, Unit 1002, ready to push the floor. Speed word 6, purple whiskey, push start, proof faced east. That's engine 2, to engine 1. We should hear the barking dog. That's the power transfer unit. Stop the push there before FSX sends us somewhere weird. Parking brake goes on. We can see the exhaust temperature has just shot up for engine number one, meaning that there is some fire in the engine, which is what we want. And then the uh, N2 speed will start climbing, and then our main turbine, the N1, will come up, which is the big fan on the front. N2 is the in... so there's sort of two stages. Um, there's the inside spinima thing, and then there's the, the outside spinima thing that you can see. Um, so that's, that's why they're two different numbers and very different and they're not physically connected either so that's both engines started so engines uh, starter can go to normal quick check on the overhead uh, taxi lights can go to taxi uh, we don't need turn off lights uh, we don't need a poo anymore so that can come off that's all off uh, flaps one and flight control check Full left, full right, neutral, full up, full down, neutral, ruder, full left, full right, neutral. And that's all I need to do. Oh, auto brake to max and speed brakes will be armed. And we are ready for tax ski. And shuttle to Juliet for taxi, please. Shuttle to Juliet, Alpha, hold Pluto. Follow Alpha, hold Pluto, shuttle to Juliet. So away we go. So a tiny smidge of throttle. And we are away. Shuttle 5 Tango, you can continue Sorry. on Alpha following the company 321 stand 512. Brakes. Pedal pressed and Shuttle check five, zero. Alpha. It's uh, down here, zero. I'm looking. Was there someone waiting for me there? No, maybe not. Let's just make sure we actually go around that aircraft and don't. Smack a wing, although we're not actually that big. 
and this would be right on Bravo, but we're staying on Alpha for it. So, slow down for the turn, give it a bit more throttle in anticipation of the turn, and then steer it round, dabs of the tow brakes if you need. And then throttle back to idle should be more than sufficient. Take off config. Seems to be bugged out. Not entirely sure why. Got no blue. Uh, we are taxiing at 24 knots here, which is a smidge quick. Let's just bring that back under 20. Should be 15. Really. Speedbird 1-1, one, one, contact T-Tro-Town, L-1-1-8-S-1-5, and try to find spelling. Oh! 1-8-1-5, Speedbird 1, thanks, spelling. I've got Heathrow Tower on. Fantastic! So, yeah, just a boring old taxi, this, really. Uh, since we're now clear of everyone, we can flip the weather radar on. And it's going to tell us it sucks. So we're going to turn the calibration down on that. Because that's going to get very annoying very quickly. Lovely. And we'll do our departure. Um, check Mondos. So lights on, lights on, strobe onto auto, transponder to TARA, tilt is above. Air Canada, if I summary for taxi. Brakes are good, spoilers are good. Uh, eight, five, seven. Uh, hold Lima 2 for now. Hold Lima 2, Air Canada 57. Oh, we are taxiing very fast still. I'm on completely idle throttle here. Right, I've got to remember where Pluto is. So it's after Terminal 2B, which is that one there, I think. And it's probably where he was. And a Canada 857, um, the British Airways 321, passing left to right on Alpha. Um, behind him, you can take the second right onto Alpha, holding up Pluto. There he is. All right, we're going to follow the uh, Speedbird 320, second right on Alpha, hold up Pluto Air Canada 857. Thank you, Charles. Can you join me at the time now? One minute, this one's fine, bye bye. 1185, thank you very much. Uh, short two, Juliet. So we do a little kink to the right, so that's there, and then there's a right turn. And then Pluto's just here, I think. bit further on. Are we on 1185? Yeah, we are. I'm so used to it doing the little ping pong thing. We do have a left back here, it's 
There's no board marker for Pluto. Tower, good evening, short two Juliet at Pluto, fully ready. Alpha, Link 2, 1, Link 2, 2, hold Alpha 2. Alpha, Link 2, 1, Link 2, 2, hold Alpha 2. Uh, Speedbird, wrong, Shuttle 2, Juliet. So, someone's going to push in front of me. Why is he pushed ahead of me? <laughs> That's so unfair. I bet he's streaming. Come on, brakes. There we go. So that should be Alpha 2, yes it is. Alpha 2 Juliet behind the AA at departing uh, Canada 787 via Alpha 2, runway 27 right line of the way behind. Find the departing Air Canada via Alpha 2, line up and wait behind Shuffle 2 Juliet. Air Canada 857, 27 right clear for takeoff, surface wind 280 degrees, one's around. Quick takeoff, 27 right Air Canada 857. Yeah, he must be streaming because he's just absolutely pushed right in front. I have no problem with that. That was a fun little uh, weird taxi diversion. Let's see if he's got anything on. Uh, let's do flight. Good evening, Stuart. This is public with you holding Pluto. Two six five west east red tower hello hold alpha three behind the departing company a three twenty one fly alpha three run with two seven left correction two seven right line up on way behind hold on three I'm um, behind the company uh, a three twenty one line way behind two six five west east I got I was panicking slightly there because I thought he was. Uh... Telling two of us to line up and wait, but no, he's uh, given a conditional. Oh, suddenly got busy then. Noise. Cliff take off two seven right, shuttle two Juliet. Trim not in takeoff range. Shut up. Although I agree, I'm going with what it calculated. And up we go. Whoa, that was a bit, that's a bit windy. What's the right gear up? Speed of 
There's our flap speed, flaps away. And throttles to climb power. An autopilot on just because I want to get some nice views before we punch through the cloud. And a huge leg spike. Cheers, FSX. Oh, shit, that's not gone well. Quick print screen. Save. And that Air Canada has long buggered off in a completely different direction, which is absolutely fine by me. So that was Air Canada 8. Over to Unicom, thank you very much. Shuttle 2 Juliet. Um, so Air Canada 557, five, I think it was. It's 577. Seven. Oh, 857, there we go. Josh Perry. Hello, is he a streamer? I mean, there's a chance that he wasn't, and he just pushed him out because you don't want to be sat on the ground too long with fuel burn and everything. Uh, what was he in? He's in a 789. Uh, so we passed transition, so over to standard pressure. And taxi lights can come off, runway turnoff lights can come off, wing lights can come off. Uh, still tilt above, so yeah, we'll leave it on that. Weather's sort of cleared up a bit, so I'll increase the calibration back to normal-ish. And there's flight level 100, so lights off and retracted. And up, up and away. So, what ATC do we have on at Manchester? Um, in fact, what I can do... Is that going to work? Yeah, it is. Not that you're going to see much, but there's us in the orange down here anyway, just out of uh, wherever that was. Heathrow Coventry Tower is on. And it's an S1. Um, okay. Is anyone flying into Coventry? No. All right. Well, we've got Manchester Tour on. It's apparently been on for three hours. Here in Crean, Crean, and Imani, just one word name, fine, uh, on Grund. So that's on 118625. Oh, that's easy, that's not much of a change. So that's where we'll be for that one. And what do you know? We're already at our cruise. Fan dabby dozy. Um, so, right. Through lack of air control, I think it was. Oh, Bristol's on as well. Um, we will key in our arrival. Chugga, chugga, chugga. There we go. Uh, so, flight plan, EGCC. We'll do an arrival. We're going to be on. I'm guessing it was 2 3 right. Let's just do double check that. EGCC ATIS. 2 3 right, yeah. Uh, so we'll do an ILS 2 3 right. 
not busy. We could do a... Oh, no, it's well busy. I was say we could have done a procedural approach, um, which is quite good fun at uh, Manchester. Been to Alpha is the company route. Now, there's no transitions at Manchester, so you sort of have to self-vector. Yeah, so we're gonna we're coming in on Dane, and then the procedural approach takes you actually overhead the airfield, uh, over the Manchester VOR, and then you come out and do a funny figure of eight type thing. Um, but here we're we're pretty much going direct. Now the only issue is there's a stonking great big mountain here, um, more commonly known as the Peak District. So. We will just clear that continuity. The aircraft will draw a line and then make curves and stuff. Um, but if we need to, you know, just to jump off the, the route and make that uh, slightly less of a tight turn here and more of a tight turn here, um, then we can do. Uh, and now we've keyed that in. Our estimated fuel on board on arrival is 3 tonnes. And we only put 6.2. Four, four in to start with so yeah that's that's great plenty for go arounds and uh, all those sort of unforeseen thingamabobs and then if we skip forward to the approach phase then we can key in the weather data so q and h in manchester's 1001 which is actually the same as heathrow now uh, temperature is warmer than heathrow in manchester And no rain, but there's rain in London. What's going on? <laughs> uh, we've got threshold QFA. Oh, it's nice to have that. QFA of 9902. So that's the static air pressure at the threshold of the runway. Um, there's nowhere actually to key that in on here. So, um, And then we've got winds are... 28013 knots, a bit blowy. Transition altitude is 6.5. Why are all the transitions all of a sudden at 500s of feet? Anyway, um, we'll add 5, so that's 139 to our V approach. It's fairly standard. Uh, and we've got this headwind anyway, so we'll be coming in nice and slow. Uh, and then we'll have a look in the charts, or at least I will have a look on the charts. Uh, and down to Alpha. For ILS 23 right. There we go. Add to root. So, I can show you this, uh, that button, there we go, so if we go to low on route, because that's probably a bit more thing, so there's Trent, after passing a top east mids, into Dane, then we have this uh, horrible hawky balkiness here, um, and then if we actually have a look at the charts then for the Dane 2 Alpha, um, and we want that one, we want the ILS 23 right, which is that one, and then we're going to want a taxi one, and then we're going to want a parking stands one, there we go, right, so you can just pin them along the bottom and then you can chin that off. So Dane, yeah, all fine, you know, numbers, uh, altitudes and so on and so forth, we'll, we'll do that as we go this is the, the mountain that i'm on about um you know it's, it's just a bit awkward um the thing i'm looking for though is for two three right for a cat three a which we are but i'm gonna hand fly it so all right so we'll take 200 feet then Yeah, we'll take we'll take two hundred feet. 
That's fine. Uh, so on the radial altitude, it's 200 feet, which goes in there. And that's all we need to do on that one. So now we just keep an eye on everything, make sure we've, uh, we don't miss our top of drop, which is marked by this white arrow. We'll be going down to flight level 80. B39M. What on earth is a B39M? B39M. Oh. Boeing 737 MAX 9. So why is it not a 739? Anyway, whatever. Um, just don't understand Boeing's. Someone's in a Robinson R22 class. Like it. Like it a lot. We've got that guy. So that guy with no flight plan. Who else is coming into Manchester that we need to be worried about? Uh, absolutely nobody. He's going to Liverpool. So we need to worry about that one if we divert. These aren't going anywhere near Manchester. Any of the dashed lines I care about, and there aren't any more on the map. Excellent. So, yes, the only traffic is this 7 3 who's far enough ahead of us that I don't really care and is not going to be an issue. As you see, the bar on the top showing more or less halfway. Um, and I will be back momentarily. And you will see for why. You will see for why. Not exciting for you, but certainly exciting for me. Uh, but if I do that button... You get a lovely view of a texture that's failed to load. Brilliant. Oh, there it is. can see my master plan. Oh. Bit of grape juice. Mm. Lovely jubbly. Look at that. Bit of scenery. So I'm actually flying into Leicester. Um, yeah, so that is Leicester. And we're not a million miles away from East Mids. Can I pan while I'm in this view? No, I can't. So we got oh there's East Mids and there's the mighty Loughborough my house is 
uh, round about there ish. I think. Don't know. Where do I live? <laughs> In Loughborough. And where did I grow up? Well, over here somewhere. Where we're we going? The mighty Manchester. There we go. So we're nearly at our top of drop. Um, flight computer's all set. I didn't start the stopwatch again. Standard. Um, that should be on that one. In fact, we'll go tilt below and we'll go tilt below on here. And we're going to take the marker beacons on as well. I do like the good old marker beacons. Uh, we'll spin this down to 8000, which is where we want to be at uh, day. Daily, is it? I can't remember. Uh, Dane. Right the first time. Oh, yes, on the. <laughs> you can't see that because the resolution will be crap. But yeah, Dane. There we go. Fly level 8 zero. It's even got it on here as well. So I could have just looked at that, to be honest. Um, now, this West chat. I can't see anymore. That chappy, I think, is Shuttle 3 Victor. Is that spy just really far behind? I don't know. Why can't I see this West chat? CN? Nope. It's really weird. Same with that spy. Oh, whatever, down we go. Click. What a violent nose down attitude. Are you sure about that, Mr. 321? Oh, right, yeah, the speed's shooting up now, and now it'll think about it and go, oh, doing a bit quick now, and it'll pull up. Awesome source. Hmm. So there's us just past Trent, inbound to Dane, and then Manchester is on the nose, over there somewhere, not yet rendered in. Mustn't do what I did yesterday which was after passing dane i we, we were on zero fives anyway <laughs> i forgot to drop the altitude down i ended up coming down at a absolutely disgusting angle i think that's manchester so we end up looping round avoiding the uh, mountain doesn't look quite so big here but it look a bit bigger when we get a bit lower it's not huge it's only the peaks but uh, and I do want to bring our speed back because one thing that the airbus seems to like doing at Manchester is just absolutely tanking it and you just can't bleed the speed off quick enough. So just to assist with that, we'll stick out to spoilers. Huh. 
All right, it's not rendering that. Oh, it's not rendering everything, anything at the moment because it's trying to work out what to do with Manchester scenery. There we go, back in. Oh my god, these lag spikes. I appreciate that's going to currently pitch up the aircraft. Something rotten. Why is it firing up the engines? Why would you do that? So, there's Manchester Airport. So now we swing her around. Uh, lights on. Don't need that one just yet. And we can go over to local pressure of 1011, 1001, sorry. 1001. We'll activate the approach phase. Speed's coming back nicely now. So much so speed brakes can go away. And told you I'd forget. I'm down to 3,000. So there's our dot speed. So I'm going to take flat 1 just to uh, help with the drag a little bit. And I can't see this west jet at all. Oh, he's there. Oh, he's not going to be an issue at all. Yeah, I can't zoom in enough, stably enough. Oh, another huge leg spike! Come on! I wish you'd descend, aircraft. I know the speed brakes are still out because you keep throttling up, you daft machine. Well, we are high, but we're not silly high, and speed's good. Normally, at this point, I'm high because I always forget that to change this, the altitude over, uh, but I'm normally high and fast. So at least this time I've got... And then you end up pulling some G-force around this corner to uh, bleed your speed off, which, you know, you wouldn't have particularly happy uh, customers. Leave the speed... Westjet 121, welcome to Manchester. Hold Bravo 1, contact ground 121, decimal 850, bye-bye. One two one eight two five zero. Yeah, one two one. Thank you. KLM four five five holding shorts at two three right. KLM four five five Manchester Tower. Roger. The fire mic one clear. Take off from my two three right. Surface winds two eight zero degrees ten knots. Clear to take off from runway two three right. KLM four five five. Speedbird eight zero hotel Alpha behind departing KLM Boeing seven three seven fire hose. Mike 1, line up and wait for my 2 2 right behind. Find the uh, departing KLM via Mike 1, line up on the 8th runway 2 3 right, speedbird 80 Hotel Alpha. Alright, finally, it's coming down. 
Hallelujah. Now we've got this horrendous turn in a sec. Right, speed's good, altitude's reasonably good. Good evening, this is Chai for Left and currently at Holding Point Mike one behind the speedbird. Chanix one Alpha, Tom Manchester Tower, Roger behind departing British Airways Boeing 737 via Mike one, line up and wait from a T3 right behind. Uh, behind departing British Airways, um, clear down and wait, T3 right behind uh, Chanix one Alpha. Right, here comes the horrible turn. Speedbird 80, Hotel Alpha, surface winds 280 degrees, 10 knots, runway 23 right, clear for takeoff. Runway 23 right, scared to takeoff, Speedbird 80, Hotel Alpha. So you see about this mountain suddenly actually being significant. We could be a bit lower. <clears throat> and we're now below the glide and to the left of it, which is where we want to be. Can M455, uh, I think I'm breaking all the connection. Can you put that in chat, please? Um, we'll let him get his takeoff clearance. Right, is he going to do it? Can M455 contact 122 decimal? <laughs> yeah. Manchester Tower, very good evening. Shuttle to Juliet on the ILS for two three right, ten miles. Roger, thank you. Continue and approach. Two, three, right. Short two, Juliet. So, lights on. We'll take medium brake. Take flat three. Speed check, yep, yeah, good. Bang on the OS. So, this is the best approach into Manchester I've done. And we'll take flat four. Let's land C3 right, shot 2 Juliet. Chanix 1 Alpha Lima, nothing further. Monitor Unicom 1 2 Destiny, enjoy your flight. What's this, my thank you for the service. Uh, good evening. So, on to manual. Oh, and you want, you want, you want, you want. Oh, and it's not working. Oh, bugger. Oh, bugger, bugger, bugger. Nope, sorry, you haven't got joystick cam. It ain't working. Don't know why.
Why isn't it working? That's having none of it. Oh, sorry, no joystick cam. Right, give us down three green, no blue on the what's it magic is. And we are manual on the sticks. That other chap, he could definitely have got out before us. But, uh, yeah, it's not that busy, so there's not really a need to push. Oh, and is he actually still taxiing? Yeah, yeah, I think he is. Oh, no, there's a sleazy jet there. 500. In the conga line. Take that. Right, there's the Tatten. So we will come off here at Bravo Delta. Just keep the uh, keep the speed up. Bravo, bravo two, and then over to ground. Thank you very much for your service, Shot two, Juliet. No worries. Take a break, break. Ryanair seven up. For Charlie behind the landing jet two, Boeing seven five seven via Mike one line and put weight two three right behind. Finally landed. Uh, Manchester ground is one two one eight five. Yes, I should know that. Manchester ground, good evening, short two Juliet, uh, holding at Bravo 2. Short two Juliet, hello, welcome to Manchester ground, short two Juliet, Bravo 2, Juliet, stand, taxi stand 4-2 via Bravo and Juliet Foxtrot. Stand 4-2 uh, via Bravo and Juliet Foxtrot for short two Juliet, thank you. So that's over on Pia Alpha then. Uh, not that one. Um, that one. And fly dual one mic Romeo. Are you able to take a list of two Romeo out of two Hello, that a list of two Romeo. Why is it blowing me over so much? Yeah, we can take that. Roger, I'm clear to. I just do the rear few. So oh, there's a bit of a conga line going on, eh? Lima 612, Honolulu, then as well. Mr. 2 Romeo, after the. Uh, Oh, he's going to be right behind the post. That's an ILS landing. If not, well done. Thank you. 
Good evening, ground. Uh, this is uh, Chan X106. We're at stand 43. Uh, we're going to 7800 with information hotel on board. Uh, requesting IMR clearance to Berlin Kilo. Uh, zero six Manchester to ground. Hello, you're cleared to destination Echo. Oh, I was just a bit worried about that Ryan scare. Right? No, We're going in next to that jet, so. Squad three four four five. And at the side of one Romeo Looks Bravo 6, so that's Juliet Fox. Left to right. Yeah, right to left, no, he's right. I'm chatting shit as usual. Ah, oh, come on, sticky brakes. Right there, 553. Five, Can you put that in the uh, text form, please? Yeah, no worries. There's 42. Lights off. Excellent. Oh, I wish I had docking, whatever it's called. Easy dock. Forget how long this yeah, aircraft is. One two zero tax one, but Mike one two three right via Lima Papa Kilo. All right, see how close we can get. Where is it? It's roughly there. Okay. I think I'm about straight as a banana. I think that is just short. I'm just to the right. Oh, it's fine. So, parking brakes on, engines off, transponder whoop, off, lights off. Good evening, Chanek 7, Sarasov, holding at Alpha 3. Chanek 7, 6, Golf, hello, welcome to Manchester Taxi. Hold point, Bravo 3, hold your power. Manchester. External power comes on, so APU can come Bravo off. Bravo 3, uh, Papa, and hold your Bravo. And has the jetway come in? Oh, it has. Can you please confirm I'm file for two three right? If I'm um, Ryanair five five three, you should be on the Eclad one Romeo out of two two three right. That's not the worst parking I've ever done. Certainly, lots of room for improvement, but it's certainly not the worst. Uh, there's a KLM going. Who else have we got? I'm intrigued as to what aircraft that is. And fly zero one mic Romeo mic one two three actually hotel one able. Are you can you take call and point hotel one? Uh, that's taxi holding hotel one. No, I just want to check. Can you take taxiway hotel one for take off? Uh, that might be a little bit too short. Mike 1 would be best. Roger, that's fine. You can taxi on point Mike 1, Romeo 2 right? By Lima, Papa, Kilo, and Juliet. Taxi on point Mike 1 by Lima, Papa, oh, Kilo, come and on, Juliet. That's clearly not what I wanted to do. Line out, Fair Fair 3. Taxi holding point Mike 1 by Foxtrot, Juliet. That's not what I want to do either. Oh, I can't remember how to use no, chase plane. One, two, zero, you can contact Manchester Tower, one way, decimal, 65, yeah. Contact ah, outside static, that's what I wanted. Right, 
there we go. So now I can zoom in on you. Whoa, whoa, Nelly. Oh, it's a guitar. Something. So it's seven, eight. Oh, and there's a speedy birdie coming in from Dallerman. Where on earth is that? Oh, it's Turkey. Or at least that way, anyway. And what was he in? After the flight, Duro CRJ 772. Continue taxi stand 41 by Bravo and Juliet Fox. Oh, yeah, you can see it's a 7. Treble. So, what's this Katari guy going out? Juliet Fox Channel 76. Departures. Lost Shuffle 783 at stand 26 and request push and start. Oh, he's in a treble as well. North Shuttle 73 QH 1000 hexapascal, stand 26 position stars approved. Uh, QH 1000 for uh, push the North Shuttle 73. Fly Geo 1 micro mean contact tower 118 decimal 625 here. 118 decimal 625, Fly Geo 1 micro mean, thank you very much. Wait. Oh. Hello Manchester Ground, um, sorry about the delay, we've just been having some issues with the SMC, but uh, we're ready to go now. Uh, can we get a push and start from stand 155? Um, uh, Channing, because we're going to track a Foxtrot. Fucking hell. And Channing, one for Echo Foxtrot, um, I can't remember, did I clear you? Uh, no, didn't You should have ticked it on your I, screen I, if you I, had, I, mate. Orbit, nice. Uh, CRJ. Roger, no worries, you're clear to Gatwick. Samba 1 room departure out of runway 2 tree, right? Squawk 6 4 Oh, it was a whiz. Information, India's nice. 1000 hit to Pascal. Love the whiz air livery. What's this, chat? Not past. There's a big Lufthansa. There's a. What is that? Oh, it's a North Shuttle. Or Norwegian. Then we've got a Jet 2 here. We're in a Speedy Birdie. So why is he stuck us here? I thought the Speedy Birdies went. Over there. Janex one zero six Manchester Grand Hello stand four three oh, push and start the one. Oh, is it two eight? Push and start approved facing south, Janex one zero six. Actually the gang has means still for six hundred bravo one. There's another livery not found. Normally, because it does it on the call sign, I believe. So if the call sign's not correct, then it won't know what livery you're supposed to be in. But that's not always the case. Hmm, so there we go. Anyway, sorry, I'm just uh, being really boring here and uh, looking out the window, really. But I do, I do very much love Manchester. Oh, it is great, yes. It's right good. That's Yorkshire, blimey. Cool. Anyway, hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you on the next one.